Hi everyone, this is Nicole from Sweet Domicile and welcome to my channel. Those of you that are not familiar with me and my family, we actually live in New York City. Um, my husband and I are Southern, um, so we are spending a chunk of our summer this year in Wilmington, North Carolina. Therefore, we're spending a ton of time at the beach, it means we're doing a lot of walking on the beach, which obviously means collecting seashells. So we've started collecting them and then we're like, you know what, let's throw some paint on them and make them pretty. While we're here, it gives us something to do, it's a little DIY while we're away, and it's something that we can take back to New York when we get there, and it'll be a little memento of our time that we spent here this summer. Um, so I wanted to show you what we were doing, I wanted to sort of bring you along and kind of give you a little DIY and some instructions on what we're doing. Um, I know that there's tons of ideas out there for how to paint them, this is what we're doing, it might not be perfect, um, but it is working out. Um, we've done a couple already and so I'm going to show you what we're doing, so follow along and let's get to it. Okay, so my first step is taking a bunch of oyster shells. We're not doing just oyster shells, we're also going to do some clam shells as well. And I'm going to put them in, this is our beach bucket. This is the only thing that we have. We bought one while we were down here. So I'm going to put them in the bucket. And then I'm going to fill it up with halfway with water and then the other half with some bleach. We want to make sure that we get any of the sort of oceany kind of seafoody smell out. We don't want it to smell um, after we get them painted. So we're going to get them good and cleaned up um, with some water and bleach. We're going to let that soak for 24 hours. Okay, so I filled up with water and I'm going to fill up the rest of the way with some bleach. I'm going to add a little bit more water to it. It's about equal parts, give or take. I just finished off my jug, so I just want to get enough in there. And this is concentrated, so it's already this is concentrated, so it's already um, pretty pretty heavy duty. So I'm gonna so finish this, and I'm gonna take it outside since it's pretty strong. Um, you can smell it. I'm gonna take it outside and let it sit there for 24 hours, and then we'll come back and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do next. So stay tuned. Okay, we'll let them sit and um, we'll come back tomorrow and check back in. Since it's been 24 hours since I had oyster shells in the bucket, um, soaking in some bleach water. Now they should be good and clean, so it's time for me to take them inside so that I can let them so soak in some dish soap water. Um, and we'll get them cleaned up with a toothbrush. And then once we're done with that, we're going to bring them back outside to dry. And then they'll be ready for painting. Just get the shells a good rinse off with some water, and then you can add a little dish soap. You can let them sit there for a few minutes and then start cleaning. Using an old toothbrush, I just am giving the shells a good cleaning to make sure there's no debris or anything like that remaining on the shells so that the paint goes on nice and smooth. You can set your shells aside to dry and then they'll be ready for painting. It really doesn't matter if you paint the outside of the shell first or the inside. We did a little bit of both. This is me just painting a little bit of the outside. And then here's my husband painting some of the inside. You'll want to top your shells off with a high gloss finish so it gives them that nice pretty shine. Okay, the shells are done. We've shellacked them. We've placed them in a pretty bowl and it's the perfect um, accessory for your home. You can place it in a bowl and sit it on your coffee table, in the middle of your dining table. They make great ornaments, especially if you find the oysters that already have the hole in them. Put a pretty ribbon on it, hang it on your Christmas tree, and it'll be a memory from your vacation. If you guys like what you just watched, please like this video. You can click the subscribe. You can turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. And you can also
also follow me on Spotify.